morning, everyone. I am Santiago Melga, student at Ulm University, and I'm here with Aurora Andino, environment engineer at Politecnico Torino. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? Me too, I'm really good. So, you were selected among more than 3,000 applications. Can you tell us a bit more about your journey and your experience in the program so far? Yes, sure. Uh, so indeed, uh, I'm part uh, of a very cool program, which is the Max Tabiso Atkins uh, Climate Ambassador Program, which selected a cohort of uh, 150 uh, climate ambassadors from all over the world. They come from 102 regions, wow. and we have 59% uh, uh, female uh, ambassadors, which is uh, great. So this program uh, was created by Connect for Climate in collaboration with uh, youth, uh, youth, uh, Y2Y, Y, which is uh, a program by the Global Youth Climate Network by the World Bank. Uh, so it's really great that uh, these big uh, institutions are uh, supporting young uh, climate ambassadors. And I will tell you a bit uh, about my journey. Yes, uh, as please. you mentioned, I'm an environmental engineer. I'm from Torino, this city where we are here today. Uh, so I was uh, born here and uh, I was so passionate about uh, nature and uh, climate that so I started to study at Polytechnic of Turin. Uh, I, I pursued a degree in environmental engineering and also I decided to uh, engage in uh, local action with uh, association where in, uh, in Torino in the university where we try to raise awareness. Uh, from local, I, uh, uh, I shift the focus to global nice. uh, because I started to attend the climate negotiations as a youth uh, representative and also I attended the youth uh, G7 uh, trying to bring forward uh, youth voices uh, as, uh, for the climate sphere. Uh, so really trying to raise the ambition with our political uh, leaders and decision makers. That's great. Now that you've mentioned it, what would be your advice for young people who would like to try for the next edition of the program? So, uh, it's a very competitive program, as yes. we said. My advice would be uh, really be natural, try to share uh, your best experience, uh, highlight your leadership, uh, how you have implemented uh, your actions, what crea creative ideas you have for climate actions. Uh, that, would be, uh, that would make a really good application. Yes. Uh, also highlight maybe your social media presence, because also it's important to communicate uh, the actions that uh, uh, you are doing. So this is uh, very, very important. So tell me, Aurora, do you already have an idea on the climate actions you plan to implement on the program? Yes, and uh, I will tell you about two actions. Uh, one has already occurred and the, the one is nice. about to happen very soon. So the first one, uh, it's been uh, a collaboration with other climate ambassadors from the program where we had created a video that we shared on social media to raise awareness on the Earth Hour Challenge, uh, which is a moment where the entire world turn off the lights to really uh, you know, understand the global issues and the importance of our uh, local actions that can have a global impact. The, other, the second action I want to tell you about uh, is uh, that uh, actually tomorrow uh, I'm organizing an event uh, in uh, Polytechnic of Turin, so the place where oh, I nice. studied. And uh, this uh, uh, will be a moment where we will gather a lot of participants, uh, both youth but also more in general citizens. And uh, we will talk about uh, global uh, uh, challenges and uh, global solutions but also what to do at local, local level. So we will uh, work uh, um, in groups and we will discuss the local solutions that are needed at city level to make a more sustainable future. So we will have uh, also high level speakers. Uh, we are very excited about uh, this moment and I'm looking forward to be there. I hope you can join too. Of course I'll be there. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's Thank been you. fantastic. <laughs> this was Aurora from Turin. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.